Hello, my name is Charles Davis, and I want to welcome you to the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. This video is going to be about why employers won't hire people over 50 and what you can do about it. My name is Charles, and I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm also known as the Marketing Maverick, and I'm coming to you from Cebu, Philippines. And I just saw a video about someone saying why employers won't hire people over 50. First of all, I want to tell you that ain't true. The baby boomers, of which I'm one of them, were raised by the greatest generation in America. And we carry some traits that are highly valuable. And I want to talk to you about my experience, and then I'm going to tell you my results. When I entered 62, I had to take an inventory of my life. I had been a six-figure IT Unix engineer. I've been a manager. I worked for major corporations. And I had to ask myself, what am I going to do now? I talked to one of my relatives, and she was a teacher, and she's older than me. And I asked her, what did she do when she had to retire as a school teacher? She told me that, well, she knew she was going to have to do something with her time, so she decided to do something she always wanted to do. She became a travel agency owner. She was booking cruises for Royal Caribbean during the wintertime. She would be on the cruises because she'd earned the, the points and made the money to leave Pittsburgh during the coldest parts of the month. Then I also had, when I was a child, my grandfather. He had reached a point where he couldn't work at the sawmill anymore. They closed down. So what he did was he decided to do something he always loved to do. He bought a fishing boat. Wasn't much. It was like an 18-footer with a 9.9 Avon motor and a trolling net. And he would go fishing six days a week down in the Gulf, and he would take his catch on a daily basis. He had made arrangements to sell it at the Piggly Wiggly, very popular food chain down in Mississippi. Then he had clients and customers in the neighborhood, and he sold the catch to them. And he did that for several years. He actually bought three different boats. And last, I talked to my aunt. She was a nurse. And when I, she was, she's like 20 years older than me. And she said she regretted retirement because all her body did was start to break down on her. Even though she said she had been, had some back problems, she was a teacher. She was an educator and she quit. I'm sharing that with you because there is a place for you. It's true. Employers may not want to hire you unless you are the only one. When you're the only one that has the skill set that they need to get a problem solved, they will hire you. If you have been remained active in whatever your skill or specialty is. In my case, I moved from Chicago to Milwaukee when I turned 62. And this is how I ended up here in the Philippines. I started doing service work at a nonprofit. Now, what people don't realize is that nonprofits are supported by business owners, business owners with money. So when you go into these service positions, you're getting exposure to people that you probably would never even suspect. That's what happened to me. I started doing service work at an organization in Milwaukee, 
and they became aware of my skill set and they asked me uh, did I know anything about repairing computers come to find out as a Unix engineer I'm responsible for replacing hardware and the software so I knew quite a bit about it and the person I repaired their laptop then they found out that I actually was doing web development and they had asked me, did, did I know anything about web development? And they were having a problem. And I said, yeah, I can fix that too. They were being cheated by an overseas company. So I brought their web design up to speed. It was Milwaukee, Wisconsin Security Guard Service. They paid me for that. I took those funds and started up my web design and marketing company all over again. Something I was had laying around, something I've been doing all these decades, there's still a need for that skill set. Albeit not at the salary level, you are in demand as a consultant. This is why personal branding is vital. If you want to continue to have a productive life after the so-called businesses which are scared to hire you because you have more skills than probably the person hiring you. And the other part of this is there is a company, it's called Mercer, Mercer Data. What a lot of people don't know is that companies all over the world report their salaries for the position and the Mercer data report is produced for corporations all over the world so they know the salary range for your position and they're not going to pay you more than out of that. As a matter of fact, they want to make sure that 80% are in the median and then they're going to have 10% on the high end and 10% on the low end and if you've been around in over 40 or 50, you're at the high end of that salary range, and they know they may bring you in to work a position. However, when you get a position that's going to pay you more, you're going to leave. That's just normal. And they, they, they want peace of mind and know people that's going to come in and not going to show them up, show that they don't know what they're doing. And I've had that happen, too. But anyway, the security guard company, I needed extra income because in America, that Social Security is not going to pay your way. It's not enough. So I started doing security guard work on the side while I was still being paid to do their web design work and host their system at the same time. But I also started to invest in other skills like I went and I took a course on storytelling I took a course on digital marketing to make sure my skill set was up to speed and I continued to develop my skills because at 62 I was doing things doing from the last downturn in the economy which was in 2008, what I did was I developed a web design company then, which I'm working from now, but I also reinvented myself because I had skills in home repair and apartment repair and the downturn in the economy created a demand for people that knew how to take care of properties. So I reinvented myself and I had been doing that for 15, but now I get to how I got here. I've developed my skill set. I actually was on Facebook developing my on-camera skills, doing service work with that nonprofit organization. And I finally developed a comf to be comfortable on camera so I knew how to do it here, but I do have some photography skills in my background. I was a corporate photographer and wedding photographer. So I did have some skills in this area. During COVID, somebody in the nonprofit world told me about a position at a nonprofit and they said I could get it. I applied for it 
and I got the position. That's how I ended up there. If you go up on LinkedIn, you'll see that I worked at a nonprofit in Wisconsin. So the point of this video is what can you do? Number one, invest in yourself. Number two, go through a personal branding analysis. You can check in the links below. I have a service where you can download the information of how to create your own personal brand. You can schedule a consultation with me and I can actually guide you through the process to build your personal brand and reinvent yourself and how to market yourself online. You can look at my business. It's called Serio Design FX. It's in Milwaukee, but I'm in Cebu, Philippines, because right now I do YouTube channel development. I do web development and I work with personal brands and coaching. So there is a market because my handle is marketing maverick. When you get to the level of skills that we have, we become hired guns. That's what a consultant is. A person who has a special skill set for special situations and you have them too. And I'm going to tell you the truth is I'm 70 years old and I'm still going strong.